Welcome to the Texas Go Radio Show. This is the exhaustingly 22 part of 22nd part of the 1998 live stream by Owen Benjamin. Mormon. It's written by Aaron Sorkin. Sorkin. The problem in the real world is that there isn't a Democrat who's polling significantly better than Mr. Biden. And quitting as heroic as it may be in the case really doesn't really does put a lump in our throats. But there's something that Democrats can do that would not just put a lump in people's throats with its appeal to stop Donald Trump at all costs. So here's my pitch. The Democrats should pick a Republican. At their convention next month, Democrats should nominate Mitt Romney. By the way, this was after I said he should go Mormon, swear to God. Nominating Mitt Romney would be putting our money where our mouth is. A clear and powerful demonstration that this election isn't about what our elections are usually about, but about stopping a deranged man from taking power. Mitt Romney, six foot two, white as snow, trustworthy, Mormon. Gavin Newsom, six foot three, slightly better face, but a little more psychopathic. That's my pitch for Grabber football if anybody's interested in winning. Here's my pitch. Gavin Newsom becomes Mormon, but just go with Romney. He already has Mormon branding. I still think Gavin Newsom is better because he's an inch taller and he fucked Donald Trump Jr.'s wife before Trump Jr. got her. That's a public humiliation. Mormon is the move, though. But that extra inch in Cucking Jr. is a powerful move. By the way, not sure if you've all noticed, but, or is that... Oh, did I not put fucking nigger on this? A couple of things to point out. <clears throat> Him talking about somebody else having relations with somebody else's wife before they got together, talking about how that's uh, public humiliation or whatever. There are audio clips. I've never listened to them because I honestly have no, there's nothing inside of me that wants to hear Owen talk about it. But there are clips. Do I believe they're true? Yes, because of how often I've seen them and heard people reference them. Of Owen talking about his fetish with his wife, getting her to talk about her past relations with certain people. Okay, here's my thought. I can just wing it. This is what I do if I was uh, if I was taking Gavin Newsom off the bench. Gavin Newsom off the bench. We are going to make you a Mormon, and you're going to get in a nigger scandal. What does that mean, Tom? It means people claim that he said nigger when no one was watching. What does he do, Tom? Well, he publicly says it's appalling, and he would never say that. Six months later, we throw out a wetback claim. Why? Because his one weakness is that he's a cuck to the minorities. As soon as he does that, we can break the minds of white women, give them the symmetry, give them the big, beautiful white family, and bang, he's got a shot against Trump. Because what he has that Trump doesn't have is a bunch of psychopaths thinking he's God. A lot of you evangelical Christian types think that everyone thinks it's great to say someone's God. Well, it's not. It actually freaks people out when you think a politician has been sent by God to do miracles. That's actually pissing off a lot of people, Tom. So we get Gavin Newsom, hard left, biggest California economy, right? But what's he missing? He's a pussy. He's like America's Justin Trudeau. That's why we got to give him a nigger scandal behind the scenes that he adamantly denies, but winks. He was actually offended with himself that he didn't throw that word in, in the script that he's reading. All right, that's it. Those are my picks. Thank goodness. I don't think they count the votes. I'm not saying that anymore. God's word, super chats, and then I'm going. I will read letters tomorrow. Uh, hit the like button, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, don't share it with anybody that it could break the brain. Oh, kind of. Did we get that video? I'll show you what I mean. Please subscribe to Unauthorized and don't unsubscribe, please. Um, is this thing still not working? Deep State! Yes, I Deep State Hillary Clinton! Dude, it's still not downloading. I- it's funny to hear him say, don't share it. <laughs> Whenever I first started doing videos on Owen, I would actually write down in the the uh, description, don't share these. <clears throat> Just because, I mean, I didn't know where it was going. I It was just one of those things. I, I wasn't doing it for people to... I, I've always treated, not re- necessarily right now, but I have tend to treat a YouTube kind of like a memory bank or a, a notepad. I've had channels where I would do that. Blame uh, the CIA, the deep state. I don't know, man. It's fine. It doesn't even fucking matter. It's a, it's a sign by God. God. Yep. The God. Yep. The one you're thinking about. Obviously, he doesn't want me watching the video. Okay. Uh, Mark, classical learner Brett is a boon to society. He's great. I'm glad we did that. My wife watched it and loved it. Is there any gravy in the old childhood song, Make New Friends, but keep the old one, the silver lining, and the other's gold? I'm sure I will dive in. Thanks for the impromptu Sunday stream. Thank you, professional expert bear, Reed Bear. Paying away the gay for almost letting my whisper helmet get the best of me. Anytime. Shirley Delta Bear. Great weekend, BB. May I change my bear name to Shirley Delta Bear? Uh, of course. Seeing as how you have been calling me Shirley forever. Why, what were you? Oh, Surly? Oh, sorry about that. Everyone's getting it. P.S. Grungy is still a fruit basket. Archive Bear. Meeting up in Germany and Wuperfruth on August 3rd to 4th. For more information, contact Rhineland Bear or Archive Bear on BTA. Indeed. Good work. Bud Bear. Shout out to Class Corner crushing it as huge. Also to Cod for serving the free shrimp fiasco. Most of the time, just here for Bowler Bear. Where is that mulatto comedic genius? Onward. He's in the chat tonight, I'll tell you that. 
Pickle Bears, whose idea? Ask Bears if they know anyone who was actually at this rally. Uh, Lewski said he knew someone. The audio he sent me didn't work, though. I asked him how close. I didn't get any uh, more intel, but I found no one. Uh, it looks to me like it's it's bullshit, but I'm not making any claims. It's just that's an opinion of a guy in America. Although I know uh, all the terms of service. In fact, even Rumble, I'm a little worried about when you got Benny Johnson calling it the Holocaust. When a fucking guy, within a week, the guy who got shot, his ear was not penetrated. Is bragging about his... his it's fine. No, we love it. Everything's great. You know, if Rumble or anything, you know, if I do face another round of massive censorship and uh, I, uh, oh, guys, you don't even want to know. I, I've actually looked into it. I could potentially get a job at the post office. I'm not even fucking kidding. I was at the post office the other day. Obviously, I've been. I, yes, I've advocate for that. <laughs> I've mentioned that a time or two. That would be that. Yeah. Almost kind of like a hallmark ending to this ridiculous charade. For him to be a postman. <laughs> Yelling about how much I love the post office. True story. About how it's like real American wealth and it's all right there and I'm getting everyone pumped. And one of them was like, we're hiring. I'm like, I swear to God, I sat in my truck and I'm like, could I? Yes, I could. I could. Well, the only problem is that you have to take a, uh, a certain test. And it's not a very easy test to take. At least not here in Texas. And I told Amy, she's like, Which you're- that makes no sense. It should be the same test in all the states, shouldn't it? Right. So it's not an easy test to take. You can't be an idiot and be a uh, postman. Dream job? I'm like, yes. <laughs> I get that they might have faked it, but why not? I can't, I, I can't do it. I can't do that. Are the corporation special interest trying to push Trump as the savior for the U.S. and why? Maybe trying to deflate all tensions in the U.S. for war? You want me to tell you what I would do uh, if I was a Zionist? There's no I, I can't I can't do it anymore. I can't do the whole like, but why? I, I, I just can't. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a, little, I'm a little freaked out. I got to chill out before I alienate everybody. I mean, that person gave me a super chat. I'm being such an asshole. <sighs> okay. What is the nature of politics itself? It's theater. Right? Like, imagine you're watching uh, a play and you go, but why would King Lear? And you're like, it's, it's a guy. It's not even, it's fine though. I'm going to tell you what I would do if I was. A- Dude, you're so close to being done with this live stream. Just end it, bro. <laughs> end the live stream. My guy. Okay. Hey, I love your streams. Thank you. And I could be totally wrong. It could be, it could be totally wrong. Multiple shooters here. Maybe a firefighter did have his head blown out protecting his daughter and Trump really thought the first five minutes of his next speech should be bragging about the size of his audience and how wonderful that day was. Okay. Yeah. He feels like he was really touched by God. Well, the dead dad doesn't, right? I mean, that's the thing that's so disturbing to me. They're like, how dare you question the cartilage claim? A man is dead. I'm like, you don't know that. And if it's that big of a deal, why the, like your, your, your name on Twitter is Trump. Like Trump is your picture on Twitter. He just did one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen in my life after watching someone's head get blown off. He played golf and then he bragged the next. I, I'm not judging him. I know it's a play. I mean, maybe it's not a play. Maybe. None of what he says makes any sense because he's saying the dude's probably not dead. But then he's holding Trump accountable, saying he just literally watched a guy's head get blown off. Someone lost his, his life. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm crossing boundaries. I know the Goyam need the fucking show. I'm really entering a strange phase. Maybe I should just be a mailman. Yes, I vote for I don't, that. I mean, it's like, you can't break people out of this shit. They don't want to. They're like, they'll like hiss at you and, and get mad. Well, like, I'm not going to fucking pretend Santa Claus is going down 66 million chimneys every night with cookie. I mean, How great would that be if he just stopped streaming altogether and just became a mailman? Isn't there a point where you're like, is the nature of reality for people to pick a script and just play a game in their own mind? Or is that just the nature of uh, mentally ill people? I don't know. Here, here, to a man of honor in a world of cowards. Thank you, Dan. Uh, username, no, too funny, thank you. Just want to say thanks for the dedication to your journey. Thank you, Katie. Gravy train incoming. Mount up Patriot says Nate. And then I got a tip on uh, Rockfin. Are we caught up? Um, want to know what I would do? I'll do it to this music so no one can pretend I'm like. So it is sped up. It was kind of difficult to track the super chats. I t- tallied 13 super chats. Being an asshole. Um, okay, Tom, if I was a Zionist, what I would do is get a presidential candidate to be the overwhelming supported guy from the Zionists themselves. What are you thinking, Brandon? Well, what I'd do is put a bunch of Jews on stage, literally, like, talking about how he's the Jew guy. Because the thing about Jewish Zionists, Tom, they want to rule from the shadows. So now that we have to gatekeep it after the Gaza cost, what we're going to do is we're going to build up Trump as this messiah character supported by Zionism and the Jews, overtly, in public, super aggressively. Then, Tom, we're going to make it seem like the left is the only people that have any problem with the Gaza cost and America's involvement with Israel. Then, we're going to tank the fucking guy so it looks like the Jews aren't actually in control because their guy's lost. Obviously, whoever we run against them, we control as well. But that is how we get the Goyim to think that the Jews actually lost and don't control everything. I'm thinking Gavin Newsom is a Mormon off the top ropes as long as we clip his dick down and get a nigger incident that he adamantly denies in public. 
Well, yeah, 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 that's, that's obviously the smart move. So what happens is, do I, do I turn the music on so it doesn't get clipped? So what happens is, um, Jewish side is much that uh, rule from behind the curtain. They don't like to do it overtly because they're tiny numbers, Paul. So the way to, to control the narrative is you create a binary where it's the left that's criticizing Paul, and then you overtly support one side who then loses. What do you do? That demoralizes white working class. Get a little Albert Anthony in there. And I'm not going to go back and, um, I'm not going to go back and see what he said, but it sounded like he said, uh, I'm going to play the music so it doesn't get clipped. Call, then we take more of their shit. Meanwhile, the whole Jew thing deflates, and then you just go back to kicking ass. Welcome to Grabber Football. Imagine thinking that that guy wouldn't clip an ear. Don't blow the cover. Yeah, we're off Twitter. This is not, this is not public. Anyone can discern this stuff. Fuck, should I not have said that to people? Are they women still what I should stream about? I don't know. This is just where I do my thinking and talking. Fuck. I really got to start thinking about how I, just, how I can explain how I explain. Because here's the thing. There's no, with the behavior people have, you need Israel. It's like, you got to have someone to piss off the Saudis to do the fucking touch or die. It's like, Israel's basically that fucking, what are those called? The Cayman Islands of intelligence. It's not, it's not like they're in control. Half of them can't even fill up their soda. Poor Yogi Bear. Thought a 2015 Silverado was like a Porsche. No, never. Yeah, yeah, because you guys don't get the backlash that I do. Yeah, that's fine. No, I'm sure you guys love it. Can't even fucking subscribe. It's fine. When 50,000 people after die, it's like, Israel's basically the fucking... What are those called? The Cayman Islands of intelligence. It's not, it's not like they're in control. Half of them can't even fill up their soda. Poor Yogi Bear. Thought a 2015 Silverado was like a Porsche. No, never. Yeah, yeah, because you guys don't get the backlash that I do. Yeah, that's fine. No, I'm sure you guys love it. Can't even fucking subscribe. It's fine. When 50,000 people say I'm schizophrenic and try and fucking... <laughs> start... It's fine. Uh, they can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. I have to write down the time. This is the Texas Goat Radio Show. As always, till next time.